In this tutorial, we're going to add information onto the map. You can add points, lines, or areas, also known as polygons, onto the map. You can only add one type into each layer. On the left hand side, I have poppy locations, that's a point layer, low traffic routes, that's a line layer, and pop up event stalls, that's a polygon layer. Let's start with the points layer. So I'm going to switch the layer on. And I'm going to zoom into the location where I want to add my first point. I'm going to hover over the tick for that layer. And click on the cog to bring up the mini menu. Then I'm going to click add feature. This brings up the editing tool on the left hand side. Now to add a point, I'm simply going to do a single click on the map where I want that point to be placed. And you can see there's the point now on the map. If I want to place it in a different location, I can just click on the map again and it will move that point. I've got the option to add information about that point on the left hand side, so let's give it an ID and a description. And then in the bottom left, click Save. And that's added that point onto the map now. Now the editing tool has stayed open, so I can go and add another point if I want to. So let's zoom out and move to another part of the map. Click on the map again, add another ID and description, and click Save. Let's close the feature editor, and those points are still there. And if I click on one of the points, on the left hand side, I can bring up the information about that point. And if I want to make changes to that point, I'm in the right place because I can click on the edit button or the delete button here. So this will permanently delete that object and this will take me back into the editing mode. So let's do that. So you can see the point has changed to a blue marker and I can drag that into position make any changes on the left hand side I want to, and click save. And that's moved that position. And let's show you how you can delete a point. So let's select this one. Click the delete button. It'll ask you if you want to delete it and you click OK. Remembering that this is permanent, you won't be able to get this back once you've clicked OK. And there we go, that's deleted that point. OK, now let's look at adding lines onto the map. So I'm going to switch off my point layer and switch on my line layer. And again, just as I did with the points, I'm going to hover over this tick which shows a, a cog. I'm going to click on that and it brings me up a mini menu for that layer and I can click on add feature. Now this time I'm editing a line. I can see that because I've got this line marker up here. Let's zoom into the area I want to draw. Now this time when I do a single click on the map Instead of placing a point, it's going to start to show a line, and this line is following me. I'm not holding any buttons down, I'm just moving the mouse around. I can do another click on the map, and another. So I'm just doing a series of single clicks to draw out my line. Now, if I get to the edge of the map, I can move the map by dragging the map along. 
and I can still continue to draw this line. Now I want it to finish here. So instead of doing a single click, I'm going to do a double click. Now you can see that the save button has become active. That means it's ready to save. I can add information into here and I can click save. And that's added that line onto the map. Now if I want to draw another one, again, I'm still in the editing mode, so I can make a start on that. And I click my first point, and then a series of additional points on the map to draw up this line. And if I make a mistake, say I click over here and that's obviously wrong, I can click this arrow button here, which will, is an undo button, and that will undo the last point I placed. I can keep doing that if I want to. Alternatively, you can use Control Z on your keyboard, and that will also take you back a few steps. And I'm going to double click to finish that line. And click Save. Now I'm going to draw this final line up here. To make this drawing a lot tidier, I can switch on the snapping mode. So I can click on this uh, little magnet icon here and snap to this layer. And now as I draw my line, doing a series of single clicks, as I get close to the end of this other line that I've drawn, you'll notice that it will snap to it. It will jump to it there. And I can click on that and continue my line. Now that means that there's going to be a really nice junction between those two lines that I've drawn. And again, I can don't have to do it right on the point that I drew last time. I can do it anywhere along this line. Double click and that'll again make a nice connection between that line and this one. and click save. Okay, I've finished drawing the lines in this layer and I want to move on to adding information to the polygon layer. Now to do that, I could close the feature editor and open it up again using the mini menu. Or I can use this drop down here and it gives me a list of all the editable layers that I have available to me. So I can click on this one and it'll switch me into that layer. So drawing an area is much like drawing a line. So I'm going to do a single click on the map. A line starts to follow me. And as I've done my second one, you'll notice that it starts to build up an area. Again, just a series of single clicks. And then if I want to finish this shape, it will snap to the first point that I added onto the map. Do another single click that closes that shape. I can put some information on here and click save. And that adds that area shape onto the map. I can do this again, do a slightly more complex shape. Remember, if I make a mistake, then I can use the undo button here. That takes me back a few steps. I can zoom in and out while I'm drawing and Go back to the first point, it enables the save button. Put in any information I want to on the left hand side and click save. 
The same applies to area layers as with the line layer. So if I want to snap information from one shape to another, I can click on this icon here. That enables the snapping mode. And I can butt up this shape exactly onto the border of that other shape. And click save. So there's a perfect union between those, those two shapes. There's no overlap, there's no gaps. Now these are some strange looking event stools and you'll probably find that marquees and tents are standard sizes. A nice rectangle, for example. And so when you're adding an area to the map, you can also choose standard shapes and sizes. So to do that, I can click on this button here. and it allows me to add in a width and a height to a shape. There are also a number of presets, so I can click on the presets here, and I've got football pitches, a number of sports areas, and I've also got marquees here. So let me choose a three by three marquee. So that's three meters by three meters. Click OK. Now it's just asking me to click on the map. So if I click on the map, it draws out that three meter by three meter shape. And I can drag this shape into place and use this red circle in the corner to rotate it. And click save just as normal. And there we go, we've got a nice three by three marquee on the map. And I can go and do that again. And you can see that's really quick to add a lot of information on the map to build up my event site. Okay, let's close the feature editor. And you can see I've got my three layers switched on, my point layer, my line layer, and my area layer. To edit a line, I'm going to click on the object on the map and go into the edit mode. You'll see it switches it into this blue shape and I can make adjustments as I need to just by dragging the line into place. and click save. And that's updated that shape. The same applies to areas. So if I want to go in and make a change to this, I would click on the object, go into the edit mode, and I want to get rid of this weird kink I've got here. Uh, so I could drag this into place, or I could use this button here which will remove a certain point from that area. So I click that, and then click on that point, it will remove it. And that's simplified the shape. And then I can click save. Okay, and that's how you'd add points, lines, and polygons onto your map.